Right, hey guys, how are we doing? Back on another video from Naruto Explained, and we are checking out another what if scenario. I love these what ifs, they're always quite clever at times. And this is what if Madara Uchiha was first Hokage? Obviously, he was Bezzy mates with uh, Hashirama, and uh, they built the village up together, and Hashirama became the Hokage. But what if that wasn't the case? Let's find out. Let's see what. Neurotic explain has to say, shall we? I like this opening. I say it every time. I say that every time. I can't help it. It's like, oh, it's cool. <laughs> it's like Marvel stuff. <laughs> Naruto, what ifs? What if Madara Uchiha became the first Hokage of Konoha instead of Hashirama Senju? What if? How different would the new world of Naruto be if Hashirama Senju got his way and Madara was chosen to be Hokage over himself? Would things mm. turn out for better or would they turn out for worse? I think Madara would have turned out as a better person. We're going to take a look at just that scenario. In order for this to happen, a few things have to change, which ultimately means the part of the timeline where Madara returns to Konoha with the QB in tow to challenge yeah. Hashirama Senju never happened. That doesn't happen, yeah, yeah. Instead, our trigger point is going to be the moment right after Tobirama tells Hashirama that he feels the village will never support Madara's Hokage. Uh. Originally, when he was chosen, Hashirama accepted the position and Madara left, vowing revenge. In mm -hmm. this scenario, I'll come back and I'll beat you in a fight, you poopy face. <laughs> the best person to fit the role of Hokage, and if they truly believed in him as much as they said they did, then they should believe him when he says that Madara is the ideal leader for the yes, village. Yes, that's Despite true. Despite the rumors spreading around the village that hates Yeah, because if they're like, oh, Hashirama is amazing, and he goes, well, I think Madara is the, like, Hokage, they should be like, ah, well, we should take his word. <laughs> things over by declaring that he will become Madara's aide as Hokage. This there you go. That's cool. Like, I'll the be there. I'll events. check it. I'll make sure he does a good job, all right? Madara would have to win over the hearts and minds of the villagers, the very same people who didn't want him to become Hokage. Mm. Having Hashirama at his side could help the process, but yeah, definitely. ultimately, it would be up to Madara to win everyone's trust. Despite being a reincarnate of Indra, I don't think that Madara will rule by force right away. For the logic of this, yeah. look at Naruto chapter 625, where you clearly see Hashirama tell Madara that it's because he lost his family that because Coming Hokage is the best option for him because the village will become his family. His family, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. That's cool. Yeah. About not being able to protect the village because that is why he would make a good leader. Madara shared. I reckon, yeah, this would have really been really good for Madara. Yeah. Young children didn't have to know the horrors of war, and we now know from Hashirama's conversation with Sasuke that there was peace in the village long enough for the younger generation to grow old enough to drink alcohol. Seeing the next generation grow to become adults. Something that his brothers weren't able to do huh. would spark a change in Madara. Yeah, definitely. However, yeah, yeah. We have to take into account that we do know that by the time that he would have become Hokage, according to chapter 626, Madara had already read the Uchiha tablet that was manipulated by oh. Setsu. In the back of his mind, what was written on that tablet would always linger. It would still be the there, right? Uh, yeah. against the doubts growing in his mind after reading the tablet. We know that after Konoha was founded, that the other villages were formed as well, since rival clans saw the benefit of forming a union, which would ultimately lead to the First Great Ninja War, where violence got so intense oh. that originally Hashirama offered to give tail beasts yeah, that he, he had captured to the distribute other villages them out, yeah. as a way to so what would Madara do? If Madara Uchiha was Hokage, mm. there's no way that Madara offered the beach nah. under Konoha's control to any of the villages, which it should be noted that Hashirama had several Damn. Damn, yeah, yeah. matter with not even like, like now nah, nah, we keeping all these the villages and by this point in the timeline we know that the one tails was confirmed to already be in possession of the hidden sand village because Madara had read the tablet he would want to hold on to the beach yep, keep on. and now knowing mm. where the one tails is located would be too tempting for him to ignore let's be real for a second Madara is not bowing his head to beg for peace like Hashirama no. did. The moment things got too aggressive where talks started to break down, Madara is likely to display a show of power yep. to the other Kages and putting them in their place, likely whipping like, out his Like, witness our strength, do not mess with us, yeah. Because Hashirama was the one who 
push to have Madara named to be Hokage, I do think he would at least allow Madara the chance to steer the village while also offering him counsel. Yeah, like giving a bit of advice at the side. Like, uh. By offering the Bijus a way for potential peace with the other villages. With the first great ninja war continuing on as it did in this part in the timeline, there would be a major change. Because the other Biju wouldn't be handed over to the other villages, Konoha will be in possession of several Biju, including Damn. the most powerful of them all, Whoa. the yeah. Nintel Fox. An army led by Amada Uchiha and being backed by several Biju would overwhelm the great nations. Yeah, it, it, oh my god, this changes so much stuff. Jeez. He would know his location, which would deliver a crippling blow to the hidden sand village. At this point, Hashirama and Madara would come to a disagreement over Madara's increased hostility and the change occurring inside of him, likely due to Madara being the reincarnate of Indra, mm, prompting the... Hashirama to confront Madara. Yeah, there's going to be a collision there, isn't there? Since doing so in the midst of a war would be a bad idea. However, because we know that Hashirama died part of the way through the Ninja War, it's very likely that Hashirama would die due to natural causes before the first great ninja war ends just as he did originally uh, With no hashirama there to check his impulses Madara he's gonna go all out he's gonna flip <laughs> damn the biju with his sharingan and using his perfect susano to destroy whoever stood in his way with how far Madara had taken things there wouldn't be a second five kage summit like there was originally in this part would kanaha just like take the over the world <laughs> in the other kages at some point if Madara is confronted by the Gold and Silver Brothers, then he would absolutely demolish them in a fight. After the war, Madara would demand additional land and resources. Yeah, he wants more stuff. It's like you bow to us now. Damn. The nations, but ultimately leads to Konoha becoming much stronger military wise. Yeah. Madara would also know that having Hashirama's DNA would be vital to awaken in the Rinnegan, which is why at some point <laughs> in the war, he's still pushing he it. Taking DNA right from under Hashirama's nose, but due to how long it took him to awaken Rinnegan, Madara wouldn't awaken it right away. With his brother Damn. dead, Tokiwama would feel more of a sense of urgency to stop Madara. Mm. A lot of pressure there. That was in the filler arc in Naruto Shippuden, ruling through fear and force. Toby Rama would enlist the help of Mito Uzumaki, who we did know helped Hashirama in the battle against Madara. However, if Madara didn't send out the numerous Biju under his control, then a battle with Toby Rama would still turn out like the following scene that you're about to see. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, we got an animated sprite fight. Sick. This is cool. Slap down. Whoa. Susana. Oh, damn. Whoa. Okay, cool. I think matter has got this. How troublesome. Slap down. The water dragon jutsu. Interesting. A weak copy of the wood dragon jutsu. Sounds fitting for you, Toby Rama. <laughs> Class, you know something, Toby Rama. Hashi Rama never mentioned you to me. I can see why he didn't. Honestly, you're too weak to be Hokage. <laughs> this is class. I don't approve of you, filthy Uchiha. <laughs> Not as the village, means you as its Hokage. That come at me with everything you've got. <laughs> Take the title of Hokage from me. I love it. This is sick. <laughs> Oh, he's out of here. Oh, no. Heaven concealed. <laughs> Damn. Far too easy. Farewell. That's sick. Whoa. That was class. Toby Rama now dead Whoa. and likely Mito Whoa. being Did dead not expect as well, that. Madara would 
I mean, I expected the victory, but I didn't expect the animation. Like, well, it's very possible that the Senju clan breaks free of Konoha, but I can also see them staying and modern oh. forcing them to live under the same oppression that the Uchiha clan endured. Their yeah, interesting take. Yes, yeah, like now instead of the Uchiha being like treated the way they were, the Senju. Whoa. However, it remains possible that Madara will want to hunt down the remaining Biju for himself. On yeah, day, once you've got some, you gotta get them all. It's like Pokemon. <laughs> gotta catch them all. <laughs> the other villages would form an alliance to survive Konoha's growing power, or you could see an arms race growing between the remaining villages for the final three Jinchuriki, and this would likely follow afterwards. Given Madara's personality, I see no reason why he wouldn't begin the hunt for the final three Biju. Hmm, you go for it, definitely. collect the remaining Biju, then I could see a scenario where Madara, who would now be in his mid-40s, which means he wouldn't have the Rinnegan yet, would go back on his treaty that he made with the other villages after the First Great Ninja War. We have to remember that Madara had already shown in the past, back when Hashirama... Like he could potentially take over the bloody the ninja world, can not he? Like when he attacked Anoiki, and Anoiki was begging him, saying that Hashirama had a treaty, and Madara said, I'm Madara the Uchiha clan, and proceeded to lay the sand down on Anoiki. <laughs> Madara would rule over the ninja villages by force, now that he has all nine Biju on his control. Damn, that's the ridiculous. Each village in a very but manner, then, in order to keep anyone from although, against him. I was going to say, like, the Akatsuki, but would the Akatsuki already, even be established? Having a child with some huh. Woman from ah, ah. The Katsuki wouldn't be established without Madara, would they? No. Chibito sets it up because of his encounter with Madara with the intention of then catching all the Biju, but he's got them all. Huh. Would already be in control, which means any other village that would rise up against Madara would do so at their own risk. I could see this happening since Madara it, would now be in his late 60s. You just Some wouldn't other younger try generation it. could be arrogant enough to think that they could stand up to Madara now that he's older and way past hmm. his prime, much in the same way that Orochimaru thought that he could stand up to the uh, 70 year old years in Song. Yeah, and I doubt that fact. At this point in the timeline, <laughs> that didn't go well. <laughs> Hands down. Haha, <laughs> jokes. See what yeah. powerful enough to end the war by himself, then Madara would step in and spam his Rinnegan Jutsu to end the Ninja War, likely ripping out the souls of Hanzo. Whoa. If the hidden Whoa. Brain village is still being Whoa. Used as a battlefield, which this means is an insane scenario, man. Sonny, those who led the rebellion against Madara would also suffer a very similar fate. Madara would now be convinced that this world couldn't be a world of peace without the infinite Tsukiyomi, which means that Madara so he carries on with his now uses things that wow statue and seal away each of the biju that are in his possession. It would He's got them all. Yeah. Zetsu would make his move to revive Kaguya, which would happen uh, upon 30 years sooner than it did originally, 14 years before Naruto and Sasuke were ever born. Oh, guys, whoa, wow. Whatever, Changes the whole story. with me on the Kryptonian Saiyan channel know that there's a version of this story that's drastically different than the one that you guys see right here in this video, and the one that was made in 2017 is a lot longer than this one, which... I still have up on the Kryptonian Saiyan channel. The reason for all the changes is that when I first made the original video back in 2017, I was too worried that people would be turned off at the thought of Madara being seen through the lens of a total tyrant. Because mm. at this time, the YouTube channel was growing at a really great rate. Looking back at it, I feel like it was a mistake, and I feel like just as advice to any up-and-coming YouTubers, make the content you want to make. You want to make, about yeah. Whether or not people get turned off because for everyone who doesn't like your content there are people that doing, will there are the people that will so, yeah, yeah i get that appreciates your honesty and your sincerity when you do it now just as a side note i'm almost done with that what if naruto mary sakura part 2 video so that video is coming as promised since it hit the required number of likes but as always guys if you like anything i had to say don't forget to comment rate subscribe and share thank you so much for watching all the way to the end have an awesome day guys Oh wow, Outro didn't quite make it in there, but that's fine. That was cool, the sprite fight, I was just like, whoa! <laughs> What's going on here? This is different. I'm sure he mentioned to me in, uh, in the DMs on Twitter that uh, he, he'd done stuff like that in videos before, so I'm uh, glad I've witnessed it now. And, like, Nurex, but he's such a cool dude. Like, I've had a really cool conversation with him on Twitter recently, like, about um, certain changes in the anime and manga and stuff, but that was a really cool what if.
That was awesome, because, like, yeah, Matter would potentially, like, just be, like, oh, a tyrant, it's just, like, with situations and stuff, and, yeah, he'd do things differently, and, yeah, no messing about, kind of hard, oh, wow, we got the Biju, we're going for all the Biju, we're going to Pokemon master this and just collect them all, and that was awesome. And uh, what was it I want to check out next? I want to check out what if Toborama never died. And there was another one as well, but I can't quite remember. But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. What did you guys think of that? What did you guys think of this? Click like, subscribe, and ring. Leave comments down below. Let me know what you watch, discuss in future videos. And I'll see you guys. It's all you guys next time.